Hi everybody, Sub Chief here. Today we're looking at binomial coefficients and the expansion of this calculation of a polynomial here, 3a minus 2b to the power of 5. If you're going to FOIL that out, you're going to get 3a minus 2b multiplied together five times. Now that's a lot of FOILing, it's going to take you a long, long time. So there's a much more simpler way of doing it. So what we do is we set up this function here, n choose k, which I've got explained here. And this is basically what it means, is n factorial divided by k factorial, n minus k factorial. So to explain that in a little bit more detail, when we're expanding this out, which is five degrees of expansion, we get six coefficients to find. So as there's five expressions, we've got in the top one, which is n, n is five, we always put n is five in the top. And then we start from zero, working all the way up to five, so 5 choose 0, 5 choose 1, 5 choose 2, 5 choose 3, 5, 4, and all the way up to 5. That's how we get 6 coefficients to find. Now I've labelled them all up here for you to see, so you can work out how they work out, how to work them out. And so basically using this formula here, I've got these calculations here. So I've got 5 factorial divided by 0 factorial and 5 factorial. So n factorial, so n is 5, and then k, k is 0. So 0 factorial, and then 5 minus 0 is 5. So that's where to get 5 factorial. To multiply that out, basically it's 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5, divided by 0 factorial is basically 1. And it's 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5, the factorial again. Then cancelling out all the 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s and 5s, you just end up back with 1 divided by 1, which equals 1. So that's pretty straightforward. The next one. 5 choose 1. So n is 5, 5 on the top as always. k is 1, so 1 factorial. And then the 4, that comes about by 5 minus 1. So that's now 4 factorial. So now on the top we've got 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5, divided by 1 times 1 times 2 times 3 times 4. So that's 1 factorial, 4 factorial. Bit of cross cancelling out on that, you'd end up with 5 divided by 1. Which equals 5. And then we work along, there's the 2, won't keep going into it too, too many times because you can see what's happening here. 5 factorial one on the top, 2 factorial and 3 factorial. Bit of cross cancelling, 4 times 5, 2 and 1, which leaves 10. Now 5 choose 3, 5 factorial on the top, and then 3 factorial, 2 factorial. So basically, you can see here a little shortcut there, this one. Basically, it's the same as this one, so that's 10 and 10. Now we've got 5 choose 4. Now you'll notice here that this one says 5 factorial, 1 factorial, which is the same as this one here, which is 5. And the same here, 5 factorial divided by 5 factorial, and near 0 factorial, it's the same as here. So 5 choose 0 is the same as 5 choose 5. 5 choose 1 is the same as 5 choose 4, and so on and so on. So there's a little pattern div uh, forming here. So if you do any calculations, you don't get a pattern like that, you know you've got gone somewhere wrong. So now let's put this in to our 3a minus 2b. So now what we're going to arrive at is, is 3a minus 2b to the power of 5 equals, let's just slide this down so you can see. So now what we do is, we start off with a to the 5, b to the 0, and in front of that you want 1 which is your coefficient here, but then we also have to multiply it because we've got three a's, and if a is to the power of 5, we need 3 to the power of 5, and b, which is minus 2, we need minus 2, because that's the b to the 0, minus 2 to the 0. So here our coefficient is the 1 from the binomial expansion, 3 to the power of 5, because a to the 5, and minus 2 to the 0, because b to the 0. And then we're going to add that to the next one, which is 5. We can work at it looking at it here. 5 times 3 to the power of 4 and minus 2 to the power of 1. Okay, so that comes about because we've got a to the 4 and b to the 1. a is 3, so that's the 4. And then we've got minus 2 to the power of 1 is b to the 1. So on to the next one, we've got 10. 
which we've worked out here, which we've now got here, and it's 3 to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 2. We've then got a to the 3 and b to the 2. And then the next one, again, is 10 from the expansion, 10, and then 3 to the 2 minus 2 to the 3, because we've got a to the 2, b to the 3. And so on to the same to the next one, 5, which we've worked out here, 3 to the power of 1 minus 2 to the power of 4, because a is to the 1 and b to the 4, 3 is a, that's 3 to the power of 1 and minus 2 to the 4, and then to the last one, 1 times 3 to the 0 minus 2 to the 5, a to the 0, b to the 5. Okay, so then what we have to do next is we're going to have to multiply all these out, just to simplify it. And then what you'll notice here is a little bit of a pattern. We've got a to the 5, b to the 0, a to the 4, b to the 1, a to the 3, b to the 2, a to the 2, b to the 3, a to the 1, b to the 4, and a to the 0, b to the 5. And that a decreases by 1 each time as we go along, and b increases. So we start off with a at 5, b is 0, a at 4, b is 1, so on and so on, until we get to a is 0 and b is 5. So that's how we get to that. So there's a nice little pattern. So now all we're going to do is just multiply these out. And when we multiply them out, we get 1 times 3 to the power of 5 times minus 2 to the power of 0. Well, minus 2 to the 0 is 1. So 1 times 1 is 1. That's no problem. 3 to the 5 is 243. So there, our first coefficient is 243, a to the 5. And as we've got b to the 0, that is just 1 as well. So that just disappears. The next one we've got. 5 times 3 to the power of 4 times minus 2 to the power of 1 on the a to the 4, b to the 1. So 3 to the power of 4, that's 81. 81 times minus 2 is minus 162. Minus 162 times 5 is minus 810. So then we get to the next one, is minus 810, 8, 4, b to the 1. Next one we've got is this one here. 10 times 3 to the power of 3 and minus 2 to the 2. So here, minus 2 to the 2 is plus 4. Plus 4 times 10 is 40. 3 to the 3 is 27. 40 times 27 is 1080. So that's that one there. So notice now we've got a plus, a minus, a plus. That all comes about because we've got minus 2 here in this coefficient for the b. And minus 2 to the power of 0, minus 2 to the power of 1, minus 2 to the power of 2, minus 2 to the power of 3 will alternate between negative and positive numbers. So the next one we've got minus 2 to the power of 3, which is minus 2 times minus 2 is 4, and 4 times minus 2 is minus 8. Minus 8 times 10 is minus 80, times 9, minus 720. So there we go, there's our minus 720. And the same again here. 5 times 3 to the 1, well 3 to the 1 is just 3, that's 15. And minus 2 to the power of 4 is plus 16. So multiply that out, that's plus 240. And then the last one, we've got a to the 0, which is just 1. Minus 2 to the power of 5 is minus 32. 3 to the power of 0 is 1, times 1, so basically just got minus 32 here. And then we end up with minus 32b to the 5. OK, so therefore 3a minus 2b to the power of 5 gives us this very complicated looking polynomial at the end of all calculations. And there we go. So thanks for watching. And uh, any messages, please leave at the bottom. And as always, please remember to subscribe. Thanks very much.